Motivational speakers are one of the highest paid professions in the world. The famous Tony Robbins gets paid over a million dollars for a single day event. But you don't have to be at the level of Tony Robbins or Les Brown or Eric Thomas or Mel Robinson or any of those people to make a really great living as a motivational speaker. The average speaking fee can be anywhere from $2,500 to $10,000. Not a bad paycheck. In this video, I'm gonna share with you how to become a motivational speaker. And if you stick around to the end, I'm going to share with you a super simple to execute strategy on how to market yourself as a speaker. In this strategy, you'll learn how to build your audience, create content, gain credibility, and it won't take a ton of time out of your day. So as Big Papa Philip DeFranco says, let's just jump in. Let's just jump in. Let's just jump in. If you want to be a motivational speaker, it all comes down to the content of your speech. To be the best, you have to create the best. And that means you have to create content that has a lot of meat in it. This is the only meat that the vegans of my audience will actually like. Meat is an acronym which stands for a clear and concise message. Think about Eric Thomas's most famous viral video. In that entire thing, it comes down to a single sentence. He told the guy, he said, when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. Another example is Barack Obama's, yes, we can. Martin Luther King's, I have a dream. Distill down your motivational speech into a single concise message. E stands for a clear expertise of why you're speaking about this subject. This may not come up during the speech, but it sure as heck gonna come up in the process before getting the paid speaking gig. Which brings us to A, a unique angle. If you go onto the TED website and look up all the various speeches, there are a ton about the same subject, whether it's happiness, success, productivity. That said, every single one of those speeches has something unique and different about them. You need to come up with a unique angle of why you are speaking about the subject and the message that brings us to T, one or more stories that instills the message. It's gonna take time and energy to create a meaty speech, but it's the first step of becoming a motivational speaker. The next one is knowing who your audience is and who is purchasing, because most of the time, they're actually two different types of people. The event organizer and the decision maker may not be your target audience. That may be college graduates. The event organizer wants to know you can deliver a mind blowing speech. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have the video footage of you actually giving a talk and the expertise to back it up. Whereas your audience is gonna to wanna to make sure you can connect with them and engage them. A great example of this is Admiral McRaven giving the commencement speech. I did a whole video breakdown, which is up here. You should check out and you can see how he connects with the target audience right away at the beginning of the speech. From there, you wanna develop the skills and feel out the interest of your talk. I've spoken many times on this channel about the power of Toastmasters as a way of getting up there and practicing public speaking, and that it's still a fantastic resource. But if you wanna be a paid public speaker, you need many different audiences from many different places and to practice again and again. Now, there are a couple of ways you could go about this. You could do a local college tour, or you could do a massive free speaking tour, going to every WeWork in the country, going to every event place you can, and just pitching yourself. I do recommend you set a goal of 50 speaking gigs in a 12 month period. If you can hit that number, you will have perfected your speech. From there, invest in marketing. This means investing time, money, and energy, learning about marketing and sales, and also doing those initiatives. There's some basic things you're gonna want. You're gonna want a website, but you're also gonna want a speaker one sheet to send along with your email pitches. You're gonna want a speaker reel. But more than that, you're gonna actually wanna build your audience, create content, and generate authority. I have a strategy that you can use. One of the better forms of marketing for public speakers and motivational speakers is podcasts. We love to talk. And podcasts are the perfect mechanism for that. Now you could start your own podcast or better yet, be a guest on other people's podcasts. There are a few resources which I'll link below on how to actually become a guest on people's podcasts, where to find those podcasts. But one of the ones I like the most is a website called podbooker.com. It was created by a gentleman by the name of Daniel Griffin. He is one of the top 100 podcasters in the world. And in it, it has a list of various podcasts by category. It has little blurbs about them, it has some of their podcast episodes, and you get to 
actually understand what they're about. And on top of that, there's a place for you to build your own profile. You can show your expertise, some of the subjects you talk about. You can get testimonials for yourself as a guest. Once you create your profile, you can find those podcasts that you would be a good fit on and actually through their little website, reach out and pitch to them. The most recent stats say they have about a 30% conversion rate, which means about every one in four pitches actually converts over into you getting on the podcast. After you pitch yourself, sign up to otter.ai. This tool automatically records and transcribes the words you were saying, which is fantastic because when you go onto a podcast, you can actually get that transcription, then shoot it off to somebody to turn it into a blog article, pull out quotes that you wanna use for social media. Take the audio and embed it into your website in the blog article itself. From there, hire somebody on Upwork to make the blog article, the social media posts, and the things you need for really, really cheap. And finally, once you get some momentum on your social media, you're building that audience, you've got your process down, you can bring in an expert like a social media consultant to help you supercharge your results. And why I really like this strategy is there's some fringe benefits that I haven't even mentioned. First off, every podcaster, generally speaking, links to your website in the show notes, and those podcast episodes get syndicated to the major podcasting platforms. Those links end up helping your domain and page authority on your website, which are two really important signals in Google for you ranking. It's a really great way also to build your audience because there's a number of people who will reach out to you and say, hey, I saw you on this podcast, I listened to you, you were amazing, and I would like to connect with you. Once that's done, you've started reaching out doing those free speaking engagements, you've hit that 50 benchmark, you're doing podcasts, you're building your audience, you're creating the content, you're having a community be built around you. The next step is pitching yourself for paid speaking gigs. Now, there are a number of websites you can use, like Speaker Hub, eSpeaker, or National Speakers Association. These are directories where event organizers will go on and search for a speaker to fill a need. Now, I'll have links to all these resources in the description below, but here's the thing. If you wanna really build yourself and your career as a speaker, then I recommend you check out this video about how to go from zero to $100,000 in six months. Also make sure to do those things like like, comment, subscribe. See you guys soon.